scratch the surface, oh, yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. We picked a pretty bumpy trail, huh? <laughs> this is amazing. So much fun. We're thinking of bringing the trailer up here. There's an epic spot. Are these steps gonna be too steep? You got a good line? I good. If I can get my left tire up this, up this ramp, I'll have to hop up here a little bit. This was our first real test for the Jeep and trailer and video never does these things justice. It was pretty steep. Also, the fact that we've only owned the trailer for four hours really got the nerves amped up. to be honest I didn't uh, I have all confidence in Matt but I didn't know if he was gonna make that up pulling the trailer I um, knew it the whole time <laughs> we're only a few miles into Moab first time ever and I mean I can't stop looking around <laughs> and tripping over rocks <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh well time to get cozy and eat some dinner yeah we'll see ya Good morning from Moab, Utah, everybody. <laughs> it's Emily and Matt. Uh, if you missed our last video, we did a 1200 mile road trip from Seattle to Grand Junction, Colorado to pick up our new trailer that you can see behind us. Uh, but right now it's a beautiful morning. We are getting ready to go into Moab and hit arches. So let's go. Get it on. First night in Moab, this place, it's amazing. We can't stop looking around. We're not even two miles in to this area and already have done the most rock crawling I've ever done in this Jeep. <laughs> Such a blast. First spot we found was on top of a hill. I think along uh, Pole Road, Pole Line Road, um, there's a, a huge uh, viewpoint at the end. We didn't have time to hit that last night. 
But yeah, it's a fun, a uh, little bit technical trail going up and there's another easier trail coming down. It looks like some vans have made it up here on the south trail, but uh, having a blast so far. So we saw this door in the side of this rock face from the road and we wanted to check it out. Looks like the entrance to the mines of Moria. Okay, we're going in. Oh. What? What is it? Room. Oh. Let me see. It's an old storage room it looks like. Oh, weird. Okay, well. Not as creepy as we thought. on our way to check out Park Avenue. Whoa. So cool. So if you're gonna try to come to Arches in 2022, between April 3rd and October 3rd, you have to reserve your entry time to get into the park. So be sure to go to the Park Service website or the National, whatever, go to the Arches website <laughs> and reserve your time to get into the park. Um, we were able to, to get a reservation the day before and we will say it is really nice because you can find parking, it's not crowded, so just plan in advance and it is actually kind of worth it. Yeah, I think this is the least crowded national park we've ever been in. Yeah. It's, uh, they're working out the kinks, but the system seems to be pretty solid. So just plan ahead like you should anyway. Yeah. <laughs>
Not a bad spot for lunch, huh? After an amazing day at Arches, it was time to head to tonight's campsite on BLM land near Marlboro Point, which is located near the north end of Canyonlands National Park. This will set us up with a quick drive to Dead Horse Point State Park in the morning and hopefully a great view this evening. As it turns out, we will not be camping at Marlboro Point. However, after a few dead ends and wrong turns, we found a fun road with a perfect spot. Here's our camp spot for tonight. A little bit of a view out there. Uh, we wanted to get out to Marlboro Point, which I think is straight out that way, uh, but we ran into a sign that says no camping past a certain point. So we turned right and found another road, and uh, this is where we're going to end up. So also. Uh if y'all are interested in any of the spots we camped at, shoot us a message and we can send you some coordinates and the best roads to go. There's a zillion roads out here and a few of them end at fences, so. Yeah, yeah, the Google Maps was a little <laughs> not helpful. <laughs> uh, all the maps were a little off, but it's probably things that have changed recently. I mean, there's literally a barbed wire, new barbed wire fence running across a well-traveled road, so. Yeah. yeah, let us know. So we've got the trailer set up to block wind and we'll probably sit real close to the trailer again just to stay out of that wind. But then we get to take advantage of the view.
We're really going all out here for dinner, guys. <laughs> Brats over the fire. It was a long day and we are exhausted, so we're just keeping it really simple.